Morning, everyone. Welcome to our another episode. Okay, very nice. Morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Speed Khaki Reviews. Some of you guys know that I was a ex BMW M sales consultant. We sold many cars, you know, but there was a range of cars that was severely lacking. There was no equivalent to the S3 sedan, nor was there an equivalent to the A35 Grand Coupe or Sports Coupe or Sport Bag, blah, blah, blah. Because BMW then, we had our M235 and M240 But both were in coupe variants But today, I feel that my prayers have been answered Introducing the 2020 BMW M235 X-Drive Grand Coupe When I first saw the car on the spy pics on the internet I said, wow, this car is a big car But actually in real life, eh, it turned out to be not so bad you know. Now this colour, I tell you it looks more grey, right? But it's actually called Stombe Blue Metallic. Mm? Blue. Ah. Yeah, maybe in certain people, ah, it looks blue. Lah, ah. But to me, it looks very grey. It looks a bit Nardo-ish grey. Ah. But this matches very well ah, with the cerium grey trims. So telltale sign, this is an M Performance car. This, ah, don't you think that it reminds you of Mercedes grills, man. Mercedes diamond grill, okay? Last time BMW always used stripes, and now they are using dotted stripes. Okay, what's M Performance? What is M? What is M Sport? Okay? That's a very fast one. Ah. M Sport is how Xiao one. Ah. M Sport is actually a normal BMW with certain body kit here and there. Aesthetically looks better. It's called M Sport. See me see M Performance. M Performance ah, is a normal BMW tuned by BMW M division. So we call it half M, lah, like your S and your uh, 835 or 43 range. So this is it. It has a better engine. Okay? It has better suspension. It has more power. Normal BMW uses what? Uses chrome, right? This one uses cerium grey. Kudos to BMW. They never house your ass. This is indeed a wind tunnel. This is indeed a brake duct for cooling the brakes. These are the real things. These days, people make the design uh, and they are bang, bang, you cannot go through. I believe that you see Matt Watson, you see Edgy Carmart reviews, everybody tests about the hose. Okay, these hose uh, are real. So BMW is moving towards LEDs. Even the 2 series, the 1 series, they are receiving the LEDs. They have integrated it to this car itself. For this car, they have added bigger rims to it, 19 inch. Okay, wait, is it 19 inch? Let me see. Taikong Sala, Paisei. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, 18 inch. <laughs> 18 inch. Okay, they have added 18 inch to it. This is stock standard. M performance brakes are larger than regular BMW brakes and in the signature blue. For BMW M performance, they still keep this blue. Whereas for M cars, they are you are able to choose your colors like red, you know, and whatnot, and black, and whatnot. But this is still in blue. This time around, uh, okay, I have to say the tire wayside. During my time in BMW, for this range of cars, what kind of tires they give? They give Super Supersport PSS. They give PS4. Now they give Bridgestone Turanza. Simi si Turanza. Last time I also used to own an M235. Wow, my mother going come out one time say, hey, Ertu, I do MRT is good. Ah, I was the knees are aching. This time round, uh, you can see, it has four proper doors, four proper seats. If you have a hobbit in between, you can sit inside. Okay, but we got to give due respect to the hobbit. Okay, so if you have a hobbit in between, you can sit inside. Okay, but we got to give due uh, homage to BMW. Like, at least, you can sit five. La. It's a small compact sedan, Grand Coupe. So, sitting five is, uh, need a bit of squeeze a bit. La. I'm a 1.78 person. This is okay for me. La. My hair gel, la, but it's touching. But it's still fine. Okay, they have rear air con vents, huh? I'm sorry, huh? Okay, some A45s that I see, I'm just spec ones, lah. Got no rear air con vents. Two USB C chargers for people behind that. Wow, ten hua mei ten. You go in, you can text on the move. So it's not too bad, lah. This rear, okay? Not bad, not bad. The rear is not what I fancy the most. It's like that, lah. Huh? Good thing is the boot of this car. Hey, wow. See my back also inside. Don't pray, pray, ah. Not bad one, eh? 
430 liters boot space. Well, you can see this uh, under compartment where you can put many go bars. Okay, this is quite a deep one. Eh? So kudos to BMW. Okay, this car is more usable. So if people in the market want a four-door car, able to sit four to five, they want a sporty demeanor. This is the car to get with the M Performance Kit fully loaded. I'm sure it will also be a looker. After seeing the exterior, let's see the Nei Zai Mei of the car. Come. Now look at this familiar interior, okay? M Performance car usually don't use leather. La. You can spec leather. Sorry, I OCD one. La. I see one leaf down here, I must pick up. So now they usually don't spec leather. They'll give you this Alcantara kind of feel. Because why? You sit down there, your backside won't shake. All right? Even this new iDrive looks brilliant. Sports display is like M5. Your newer BMWs all have this display. It's not a speedometer anymore. It's a, you know, this bar that you can see. Yeah? Interior is still pretty BMW like. Lighty Pro is still here. Okay? But now they have added wireless charging and this interior is with piano black, high gloss, it looks classy. I would say this interior has improved from the past. This hole is supposedly for a heads-up display, but we don't have heads-up display in Singapore. No Harman Kardon. Why? Everything add up, uh, too expensive. Uh. Singapore car got one thing. Number one in the world. Most expensive. So everything add up, uh, we die. Uh. Nobody can afford this car. But rest assured, I'm quite sure that the BMW stock sound system is not too bad. Now, oh, last but not least, uh, the place that we always hold. BMW steering wheel, still chunky. Still Napa leather. Very good. And M Performance car upwards, uh, M cars and M performance cars, they usually have the black entrance side to give it a very sporty uh, demeanor. You come in, it looks like Batmobile. Enough of the Nei Zai Mei. We go and see the heart of the car, the Sing Tang. Come let's see. Hey, yeah, BMW M235 door seals. Even the car mats have this tricolor. This tricolor mean a lot. It is to me the sportiest so-called logo la, among the big three brands. The BMW tricolor stripe. Now, let's see the engine. Okay, I know what you guys are gonna say. Yes, this time it is not using the creamiest of BMW inline six. This time, what we are getting is the two liter. People, ah, mana is a two liter. Okay, but come on, the world is changing. The emission loss, blah blah blah. It has to keep the displacement smaller so it's cleaner. But rest assured, power is about the same. In the previous N55s, probably three two six. This still gives you three zero six. All right. So three zero six on a two liter is good. I cannot say it's very good because the previous video of the M, uh, the A45S, we've already said how two liters can be. With a slight tune, it's going to be like 500 horsepower. But I'm sure this given a proper tune, it can give you more. This time round, nothing really special. It's just a smaller engine, a more compact engine bay. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. My tool, yeah. I know how I know how now. Tell me why it's so drifting now. But this car hard to drift, four wheel drive. Steady. Come, let's go. I was told that BMW spends the uh, majority of its R and D budget uh, on this seat or that seat, like in Europe, the driver's feel. To them, it's of paramount importance. So steering wheel is weighted to no weird back issues. Sits, I can just basically gel into the seat. The I drive is class leading, miles ahead of what we experienced. Ah, we try, we try. Hello, BMW. Radio. Wow. 98.7. It's yellow. Okay, la, stop at radio. La. Also, we pay out. Okay, we do our own. Uh. Small language. Uh. Spanish. Uh. Or oh, is it Malay? <laughs> Malay, Malay. <laughs> I thought Spanish, you know. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's give this song some respect. Moment, think that one. Here, finish. Okay. Uh, now we uh, a bit more bass, lah. Uh, a bit more bass, a bit more treble. Okay, not bad, not bad. Decent, lah. Uh. It must have a difference between this and the Harman Kardon, ma. Uh, sure, got uh, some Tai Lo outside want to spec Harman Kardon. Uh, so this one don't have, lah. Uh. So good enough, lah. Uh, if you want to hear your song, your heart well, you pump, pump, pump a bit. Uh, can, lah. Uh. Good enough. Last time, no matter how expensive you buy BMW, 600,000 BMW, 
Yeah, the interior people say, ah, yeah, normal. What? Now they are really improved. Mercedes has improved a lot, yeah, but I still think BMW is slightly better. Now they have even integrated the map itself to the tachometer in between, so it's good. Okay, now let's go push it a bit. In comfort mode, huh? not bad. Can still hear a bit of bangs, pops and bangs. Not too bad. A little bit bassy. Okay, I'm not very sure that the sound uh, is all from the exhaust, lah. But okay, as for acoustically, they have made you enjoy the sound of the car. Suspension is still good. It's firm and plush. Let's see the U-turn turning radius of the car. For a four-wheel drive car, I am sure. Okay, I, I feel lah. Not I'm sure. I feel that it'll be wider okay, than rear-wheel drive cars. Let's see. Hey, not bad, huh? Still pretty tight, still pretty tight, so I might be wrong. Turning radius is still decent. I think this uses the same engine as the Mini GP3. This chassis, it's a 1 Series chassis. The very hot selling 1 Series chassis. Right or not, Rachel? Okay, sports mode, let's go. Come, eat jiao yu. Okay, good, whoa, it's fast. It's fast. Okay, it is like the... Uh, Maybe sub 5, 4.9 kind of range for acceleration. It's good enough. You don't need to be 3 seconds for this price bracket because if you are 3 seconds, the A45S no need to sell already. M2 no need to sell already. Okay, so it's fast enough. But if you ask me a little bit of excitement uh, from the previous inline 6 engines are uh, uh, missing. Last time BMW M cars, they, they give me the feel. Uh, wow. Maybe 8.59 out of 10. Uh. This one 7. Uh. Not too bad. Because I believe in life, uh, you win some, you lose some. You want four seat, you want this, you want that. You want to be environmentally friendly, you got to give up on a bit of things. Karen, uh, cannot be. You want to find a white, wa, pretty, la, wa, figure good, la, tall, la, educated, la, good to your parents. La, uh, help you save money. La. If you can find this girl, you let me know. Very hard, la, okay? So, you're going to have the best of all worlds. Okay, now let's immerse in drive. Not too bad. Four-wheel drive is four-wheel drive. Brilliant. Well, just now police car drive fast. <laughs> and here many police car now. Wow, oh, it's a lot. They are not going to kill me. I am very good at the law. Okay? Good, not bad. It's a good idea. But I think uh, when power is uh, distributed to four wheels, uh, it feels different from two wheels. You know? Because spread out. Uh, you still get the power but you don't feel it's like ah, scary. You know? So that's the good thing. A lot of usual drivers or those with a weak heart a bit scared lah, uh, because rear wheel drive easily spin. Okay? Some people tell me it's easier to handle a car that understeers than to handle a car that spins. Okay? Understeer you let go a bit of uh, pet, uh, accelerator can already. Hey, but this is it. I think they have because BMW, whoa, not bad. BMW still is predominantly a rear wheel drive car maker. La. But because of cost savings these days, they make a bit more front wheel drive car. So this is a front bias uh, all wheel drive. So, which is brilliant. The tail still comes out a bit in sports mode. Huh? So, I think that it is a good drive. It's good balance. If I want a car that can do everything at this price bracket, maybe slightly above 200,000, this is a car to seriously consider right, for BMW enthusiast. And of course, member of the BMW M Club. This car can also join the BMW M Club. So this car, I use three letters to describe my feel. <laughs> In terms of driving, uh, MTT. You know what's MTT, you not know, Rachel? Yes, you are right. Wow, you can watch you down in Tom Samos Motak Teng. Yes, this is Motak Teng sitting position. Also, Mei Hua Shuo. Steering wheel feel, high shi, class leading. Looks wise, up to individual. Interior, improved. Drive wise, I feel over a regular high powered rear wheel drive BMW. From a regular driver's point of view, I feel that this is very easy. Very all round, la, I would say this car. So kudos to BMW. This car. Done. Thank you for watching another episode of Speed Kaki Reviews. La. I hope that you guys will continue to like, subscribe, and share among your friends our FB, 
and our IG and of course our YouTube channel. Thank you. Peace. My steady. It's nice for like baby. French kiss. <laughs> must take care of cyclists. Ah uh, here, ah uh, here, no nati ko, no nati ko. This grill look like, look like the Mercedes grill. Brompton is the best. The rest, pui! Wait, my birdie friends were very angry with me. Hu jia zhong bu. I will not do it again. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ayo, wakia yi makia jia la, Singapore monkey see monkey do.